Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching Trials and Ina here, just a legend. Uh, now, you, now you can say hi, by the way. So, hi yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching uh, interviews from Millennium Dance for Championship 2018. Guys, uh, thank you for, for your time. I know you're rehearsing right after this. Thank I'm you. looking forward for your show tonight. Yesterday, you made me cry. Literally, your, your rumba was fantastic. Thank you. Uh, personal, my question. How, what, how you guys practice? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? Your, how is your routine is look like so you keep progressing and that brought you to that result? Mm. We practice it as much as we possibly can. Whatever the day is available for us, we like to stick to two times a day because it, we get a lot more done this way. So we have our technical practice and then a more run-through practice as well. This is what we do when we're, when we're home in New York. When we travel, it's a little bit more flexible, but priority number one is always to get our practice first okay. and everything else comes secondary. Yeah. All right, where were you? Well, exactly. Okay. You know, what Ina said, make it your first priority. Make yeah. practice your first priority, that's the thing. And also, it doesn't matter how you feel. You have to get, sometimes you have to get the work done. Mm -hmm. Other times you have to go out and really search for that inspiration that makes you excited and go to the next level. So what's your, what's your inspiration is like? What do you do in your spare time? What inspires you? Um, for me, it's very simple stuff like uh, photography, food, music. Um, yeah, all these simple things. I want to enjoy life. I want to live as a dancer. I want to explore how it is to be a dancer and really more actually search in here and find inspiration out there. So, right now, besides dancing, what's your passion? Hey, is? Or the dancing is just a single passion you have right now? The passion, that, well, I would say dancing is, is, the, is the fire. And I just find stuff to kind of feed the fire. That's, that's literally it and then and like we get the, like we're so like lucky to travel so whenever we're traveling around different cultures different mm. people like to actually see you can do things differently than what you tell yourself in your mind that's what I open up constantly see yeah. that oh you do it like this here maybe we can apply a similar principle maybe not the same way but do things differently Challenge obviously yourself. you do obviously 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 you do so what's for you what's inspiration for you and what do you do in in your in your spare time well i find that i relax and i have a natural pull toward artistic stuff for example you would always find me wandering yeah. in museums or installations or places like this i really I would never love think that so. oh my god yes and um, i'm a very big vintage uh, fan so i love uh -huh. everything that is connected to that but i also i have a side passion which is uh, to create dancewear as well together with really? my team yes yeah so I have my own company which is based in New York called Sensu and um, I have great people working with me on it I, I mean I don't know how exactly it started I think it's because I like to be in control of things quite a lot so is I she? Want... oh yeah she's better now but uh, she yeah. likes to she likes to uh, yeah yes. give a hold of things yeah. <laughs> we'll talk in a second okay yeah. so, so I, I just like to have that um side inspiration for me because it's something that feeds me um, in an inspiration way but also in a, in a visual way I think that I can give something to someone else as well by helping them dress better etc and I think it's just a natural extension of what I am doing so I'm having a lot so of fun with it. Since, since you mentioned artistry your, your dresses first of all I'm always thinking how does they stay on because they're like half of cut out like somewhere you had a you, you had a series of the, of the dresses very short skirts and when you dance they never go up by the way I was yeah. like is it taped tape or something so you, do you design those yeah I design it together with a very dear friend of mine who is a Parsons graduate okay. so he knows exactly what he's doing right. yeah I can't say I am a designer I'm a tailor I'm not I'm a dancer but I have a passion and love for that so I find the people qualified in order to help me put out whatever is in my mind I see yes yeah, so. so talking about control <laughs> so how much does she control the partnership or practice because I, I, I would never think so that someone of you is very dominating or, you know. No, I think that you all have different characters. And whenever we met each other 13 years ago, 13 years yeah, ago, wow. and we started dancing together, of course, like, it was really like the cold Danish in your head thinking, 
versus the Bulgarian fire. We met and we literally found our own way. I got inspired by her. She she learned stuff from me and we as a team growing up as we were teenagers back then. Wow. Yeah, we grew up together, up together, literally. 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 Yeah, yeah, literally, because I was 18 and he was 19 when we won our black belt. Was a, it was it was incredible. And just looking back on it and how much of him I have in me and vice versa. And that, I think, is the, the control of trolls and Ina. There is nobody that controls more than the other person. But I think that's our strength that we really powerhouse it together so we're very grateful for that yeah we take control together yeah that's, that's how we do sure. it <laughs> yeah it's pretty cool it was uh just enjoy what you rehearse and then watch your show thank you i'm uh, looking forward for tonight so ladies, are we. So are we, yeah. ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching thank you for your time those two are amazing stick around <laughs>